Hey, it's Matt Cook here. The effect of intermittent fasting on prostate cancer tumor growth is what we're going to talk about right now. And intermittent fasting is just basically going without food for a period of time. It's become a real fad. And people say that it can lower the incidence of cancer and that it's good for your blood sugar and all that. I think those people are wrong. Um, this is just an example of this. Uh, it, there's a lot of confounding factors when you talk about studies that involve people. So studies with animals are much better controlled because you can control everything they eat and everything they do. This is one reason why the original study done that sh bogus studies showing that cholesterol was supposedly bad for you was done by people in a mental institution because they could control what people eat in a mental institution. Very rare that you can do that with regular people. So in this case, let's look at what happened here with the mice. So um, supposedly people restricting... Uh, calories uh, have less cancer. And I think that is probably true. Uh, so now the case can be made that intermittent fasting, let's say skipping breakfast and lunch, can lower the incidence of cancer. So in this case, they gave mice cancer. Prostate cancer is what they used. And then they had some mice that were intermittently fasted and some mice that were able to eat whatever they wanted. Uh, the actual amount of calories they ate was the same. Overall, there was no difference in the mouse survival, no difference in tumor volumes, mouse body weights were similar, and no differences in serum insulin or almost anything else they measured, and intermittent fasting didn't actually make them live any longer and didn't make their tumor shrink or grow any slower. So basically, it's, a wa it's, it's really a, a bust with mice. And I think the reason it's this way is that intermittent fasting increases stress hormones, including cortisol levels, and cortisol will speed up, and, and estrogen, which goes with cortisol, and prolactin will tend to speed up um, the growth of, of cancers and things and, and, and can counter any of the effects of intermittent fasting. There certainly are traditions and reasons to do longer fasts in some cases uh, for cancer, but uh, intermittent fasting has a lot of negatives to it. And this is just one of them that it certainly doesn't assist against cancer in any way and may actually be quite harmful. If you would like to get these studies, I have a lot of them I'll be talking about every day. Um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, we have an email uh, list. We, we send out emails with studies that I'm not able to talk about on YouTube and, and an analysis of them. Just go ahead, dailymedicaldiscoveries.com and go below and uh, to the link. And also have a book showing men how to live to 120 years old. I'm just going to turn to a random page, page 224. It talks about vitamin K, MK4 versus vitamin K, MK7 and the things that you can take and how you should take it and how it cleans out your arteries and blood vessels and uh, cleans plaque and increases penis blood flow. That's just one page I randomly turn to. Get my book. Just help me out for the few bucks for shipping. Uh, it's $29.95 at Amazon. You can get it for free. Go to the link below. Look forward to speaking with you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much.